Hey everybody, this is Legitimate Business, also known as the guy who got crapped on during the Kirby's Dreamland video, Kirby's Return to Dreamland video. I'm here by myself today because I can't get everyone together uh, at the same time, unfortunately. So, um, until I can get everyone together to finish Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I'm going to be playing some through some of my favorite games. Uh, today we're playing through Escape Goat, an Xbox Live Arcade indie game uh, that was released last year. Uh, in it, you are a goat, you are imprisoned for the crime of witchcraft, and I have to dwell in this prison with others for all eternity. This is the prison of Agnes. This is where most of the game takes place. So, um, this is one of my favorite games, specifically because uh, I love the style, I love the, uh, the puzzle platform genre in general. Uh, so it's, it's a nice, it's like a, it's a light, mind-bending thing. And also, uh, if I would shut up for a second, you all could hear the amazing soundtrack that was all written by uh, the same guy who made this game, Mr. Ian Stocker, who uh, I decided to support by not only buying this game, but by buying the soundtrack, which I bought a couple of days ago, even though he has it basically up for free on his Bandcamp website, which I think you should all check out anyway. Um, but it's really... It's such a such an awesome soundtrack. It's one of my favorite soundtracks of the year, uh, or of all time, really. So uh, this is the first really important thing that you can get, and this is your mouse companion, which will keep for the rest of the game. He can do things like squeeze through little passages that you can't, and you can press on, you can press other other buttons like those that you cannot reach. Also, like I said before, you can squeeze through these passages which you can't get through, and then he opens it up, and you can bring him back by pressing the B button. Uh, these buttons. Obviously, they need to have some weight on them to be activated, so you can just leave your mouse there. Uh, and you basically fall asleep instantly, which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, this room introduces a couple of new uh, concepts, although I've been doing one already for a few minutes. That's the, uh, the charge attack, which you do by hitting the right trigger. And uh, not only does it destroy blocks, but it gives you a slight speed boost, which is kind of cool for anyone who's thinking about speedrunning the game which, admittedly, I kind of am, except for the fact that I still kind of suck at the game, even though I love it this much. Um, so, let's see, we let the rat, oops, accidentally crush the rat, but it's okay, because he just comes back anyway. Uh, now we have keys, which have been introduced, which, uh, in some levels, you will need to collect in order to open the door, in order to get out of the level. Fairly simple concept, keys, I know. All right. And there's another thing you can do. You can always toss your you can toss your mouse companion out while you're still jumping. And I've collected the magic hat, which up until yesterday I thought said magic bat. What you do with the magic hat is that when you have the mouse out, you can hit the X button, and then you you and the mouse teleport uh, to each the position where the other one was, basically. And also this also introduces the uh, falling platforms, uh, which are made of bone, as far as I can tell. And already, we've finished the first area, Prison of Agnes, and we've saved our first sheep. Sheep says, I've been expecting you, but there is no time to explain now. You must reach all eight of my brethren, which is what I'm going to do. So now we're at the gathering place. This is where you come every time you finish a, a section of the game. This is the first sheep I just rescued. It says, welcome, friend. If you get stuck, you can return here to try another region. Find seven of us to open the exit door. And if your elementary counting skills are up to snuff, You'll notice that there are eight rooms, so if you only want to play through part of the game, you only have to beat six of these areas in order to actually get access to the final area to beat the game. But I'm going to go through all eight, and next up is going to be the Frozen Cavern, which, as it would imply, has ice and ice physics, which uh, can sometimes be annoying, but I can forgive it because of the awesome music. Here's another little mechanic that you can do. You can throw the mouse companion up to platforms by hitting up and B. Actually, I need to recall him because there's no other way to get to, uh, to unlock every passageway without bringing him back. All right, let's see. What are we doing here? All right, so you got to use the mouse to go up there, except he didn't for some reason. Is there ice? Oh, it doesn't matter. So I got rid of him, so I can turn this on. Admittedly, the puzzles aren't 
too challenging, especially once you play through the game a couple of times. Like I have probably beaten the game like four or five times at this point. But it's still fun because some of the puzzles are still a little challenging. Uh, Alright, I have to wait for that. The puzzles are still a bit challenging sometimes. Uh, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, I did. Because sometimes you still have to think about them, and sometimes they're kind of timing based, which are slightly annoying, but not really, really annoying. Uh, oops, don't need to do that. But uh, here, I'm going to show you a couple of funny things that you can do uh, with this. Uh, I, I was, I'm not going to try for a deathless run because that's ridiculous. But if you accidentally jump, then you get crushed to death. So that happens in a couple other spots in this level. So you have to be really careful not to hit any of those buttons, or you're going to die. All right, I don't care about those tips. But that's another, that is an important thing to know. If you do get stuck, if you mess up on the level, you just hit the back button on the, key, on the keyboard, yeah, on the uh, controller, and it'll just take you back to the beginning of the level. It's basically like a suicide button. Not real life suicide. All right. This level introduces ice blocks, but I've already finished the level, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> I could go a bit more slowly, but I'm used to playing at about this speed anyway. Nice. Here's a little trick that you can use to uh, possibly save some time if you're attempting to speed run the game, or maybe not. I don't really know. Okay, we got the magic bat. Now we run through here, and now we're done with that level. And we're done with the frozen caverns already. Wow, jeez. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> we rescued our second sheep. If anyone were to escape the prison, it would immediately crumble to dust. Cool. I'll have to do that. Alright, and I'm sort of going in order, and if you notice, every time you beat one level, you unlock two more. But I'm going to go ahead and unlock, beat the second one that I unlocked, which is the Ruins of Red Clay. Which, the first time I played through it, was actually quite a challenging area. Admittedly. Okay, bring the rat back. Mouse back, I guess. Now, this introduces the new uh, blah, 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 mechanic or new enemy called the Reaper, which are those guys on the left. They uh, shoot fireballs. And uh, you have to watch out for that because if they hit you, you die instantly. And this is. I don't know if this is a kind of a skip of the level or not, but uh, I'm definitely getting through the level a bit more quickly than I used to. <laughs> now, one of the cool things about this game is that you can, in fact, kill these Reapers by crushing them. Like that. Like I just did. And now I have to time it right because these Reapers can be bastards at times. Alright. That was good. For a moment, I think. Okay. It's probably best not to actually run into the Reapers either, just because, you know, they I believe they can kill you by with uh, just a touch. So I would recommend not running into them. Unfortunately, you can't ram them and kill them either, which is kind of lame, but, you know, I've accepted that. No, no, mouse, go the other way. There we go. I really hope that... Oh, crap, he's going to shoot at me. Okay, i got to wait for that Reaper to turn around again. <laughs> Alright, as soon as he turns around... Go! Go, mouse, go! And since I have the magic hat, warp, and there, and we're done. With this level... Alright. Whew. Uh, this is the first, I believe, just basically kind of automated level, uh, in that you just kind of have to hang out. Oh, you have to do one other thing, and that's get the Reaper to shoot a fireball at that wheel, and then the rest of it just kind of does itself. You just kind of have to hang out, watch all the explosions, and watch all the Reapers get killed. It's pretty cool. I like it. This gives a nice little break uh, for players, sort of. And this, of course, introduces the uh, wall hangings, which shoot fire at you, which are dangerous, obviously. And, okay, we can take the mouse off of there. Because that's the only way you can beat this level. Alright. Oh, crap. I forgot about this level. Got it. Hurry! No, 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 no! No! Oh, well. This level's kind of annoying. Come on! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, the one problem with some of these levels is that they can be really, really timing based and can be slightly annoying at times. But hey, you know, such is the game. But I still love it anyway. 
All right, now we're actually already done with our third area. Next to our third sheep. The Reapers were once peaceful souls like you, unjustly trapped here. But time has twisted them into what you see now. Horrible, horrible monstrosities. Well, now back to the gathering place. And I haven't actually talked to either of these sheep, so I'll do that now. With no destructive powers of your own, you will have to use the environment to your advantage, which is what I did in the Ruins of Red Clay. What does this guy have to say? Rumor has it that mice and cell blades don't like icy surfaces. Which, as you saw earlier, uh, the mouse did not actually go up the icy surface. And saw blades will come into play later. Uh, but now we're going into the darkest pits. Which, contrary to popular belief, you can actually see while you are going about your business. This level can be kind of annoying at times, but, you know, I've just kind of accepted that. <laughs> I know it's a... It's just kind of a slow level. It's not like a... It takes a while to get through, because you have to wait for the mouse to uh, go through all of his motions and do all that stuff. Alright. Mouse up there. So you can use the magic hat. Warp! Grab the key. Oops. Oops. Oh, no, that, oh, that actually worked. Neat. I wasn't actually trying to uh, squeeze through like that, but it worked anyway. Alright, so that is the essentially the end of the level, but I still have to... No, I think I... No, that was okay. Alright, cool. I get confused easily sometimes. Alright. Alright, now this is another one where you have to rely on the mouse to do most of the work. This is the first, I believe, level where you have to have the mouse walking around one platform while he turns on different... Uh, what's the word? Where he hits different buttons and all that stuff. And here's a trick where you gotta use. You have to take the mouse back while you're in the air, so you can so you can uh, turn on that platform and actually get through and beat the level. Oh, this is this is a completely timing-based level. You have to know exactly what's gonna happen at all times, basically. Well, not really, but you gotta. It, there's you get like one shot, and then you have to restart if you miss anything. All right. Gotta let these guys go. Okay. Whee! Pretty simple room. Okay, we got our first instance of saw blades, if I'm not mistaken. Saw blades just basically go around and kill everything. Fairly obviously. I don't remember the last time I ever got both saw blades on one platform at once, which is kind of cool. But it's uh, actually going to be more helpful. Oh, except one of them got stuck up there, but that's okay. This is one to just kill all of the Reapers. And now comes the not entirely arduous task of collecting all of the keys. Which actually I made a bit more dangerous by putting one of the saw blades up on that top platform, but it's okay, because I got it anyway. And we're done with the Darkest Pits. Jeez, that was really fast, actually. There are forces at work to keep you here. Not everyone wants you to escape. Or not everyone wants to escape. Oops, the door is way up there. I should have probably noticed that. Alright. We're done with the Darkest Pits. What does this sheep have to say? Work as a team. Many paths will be impossible for a lone traveler. That's that's completely true. And uh, we've unlocked the last two areas, but we're not going to go in there because first we're going into the electric lab, which for me is one of the more challenging areas in the game because, well, there's electricity. I probably should not have actually done that. I kind of fucked it up. All right, so I got a suicide. Try it again. to leave the mouse there, because he's got another one of those walking over the platforms, turning there, activating different buttons and all that. And now, come on, get up here. There we go. Alright, wait for it. There we go. Yep. So obviously, much like uh, other things, electricity is instant death, but you just kind of have to avoid it. Alright, here's another... This level can be kind of challenging. Because you have to time everything just right. Because that block will, uh... Oh, almost ran face first into the, uh, Electricity there. That would have been sad. 
But the block will be moving. Oh crap, I think I screwed that up. Oh no, I just barely got it. Whew. Alright, let's see this camp. Whoa! Alright, now, go mouse! Go! So I can teleport and then collect the key and leave this horrible room. Alright. This one's... Oops, actually I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this level you just basically have to... I think I screwed that up. Because that... that li This lightning, this uh, electricity thing should not be there, I think. Crud. Okay. Death number three, was it? Or four, I think. I can't remember anymore. I think I got it this time. I think. We'll find out soon. Yep, there we go. Alright, and I think we're good. Except for this button, which needs to be pressed. Alright, and we're good. Except I gotta go hit this button so I can actually leave the place. <laughs> My mistake. Alright, cool. This level's kind of fun. And by fun, I mean... Kind of annoying, but I just have to remember which order to press things. Okay, so we start here. I have to make sure that that block does not fall off that moving platform. Because otherwise, it's instant death. Okay, that was a little too close. Yeah. Alright, stay there, little rat, mouse. Alright, this level took me a really long time to figure out, and I still might not get it on the first try. Fair warning. There may be a few deaths. When I was playing this level yesterday, I died maybe, I don't know, ten times or so? Whoa! Like, except I don't normally die there, but okay. I just have to sit through it because there's no way to speed this up, unfortunately. Okay. Right, not fall into the electricity there. Damn, okay, that's uh, that's where I normally die. I just gotta time it a little bit better, I guess. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Thought I was gonna die there. Oh, that was just good timing. Whew. I actually consider that kind of lucky. Alright, and that should do it for that level. Yep, that's it. We're done with the electric lab. Whew. Only a couple of deaths, I think. Woke up another sheep. We face challenges ahead. Remember to work together. The only thing more powerful than a magic goat is a magic goat with a mouse friend. So true. So true of everything. Even in real life. Alright. See what this sheep has to say. Press back if you don't want if you want to restart a room, don't be afraid to experiment. Yes, I've already known that. I've done that a couple of times already. Now we're getting into a bit more challenging levels. For this one, we're going into decrypt. This is the next area. But I obviously I just said that. So this one, of course, has because it is a crypt, has many of the uh, crumbling bone platforms, sort of. Whoa! And yes, you do have to save these, because otherwise you can't actually get through this level. And don't hit any of these, because you have to jump back up. You have to be pretty quick about it, because that's obviously they fall apart. Alright. Don't jump on any of those, because your weight will you know, make it unable to actually finish the level. Alright, uh, this level is kind of silly, because you don't actually have to beat the game, the, or you don't have to actually... You can just kind of skip most of the puzzle just by uh, hanging out on that platform, and you're done with it. I'm fairly certain that isn't the way that the, uh, that the uh, developer intended the level to be beaten, but that's how I beat it, because it makes it a lot easier. Alright, that should be enough time to wait on that one. Possibly too much. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Not too bad. 
Alright, so this level will take a little while to finish. It's because you have to do this. Press the button, get off the button so the mouse can climb up the levels and all that. It's a little slow, but, you know, it's not super challenging. At least, not yet, anyway. Oops, I uh, almost forgot to hit the button the last time. Alright, cool. So now we are on the way. I don't know if you can get crushed between these blocks, but I'm not about to try and find out. Okay, click the keys. Fairly simple. And we're done. This level can be kind of challenging if you don't know exactly what you're doing. There's a pretty specific order in which you have to do the, or get all your items, including the magic hat, which uh, I'm not going to use just yet because I have to collect that key. There we go. Alright, let's see. Oops, actually that's perfectly fine to let him go that way. Since he has to hit that button all the way over there on the right. So hang out. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we're going to leave the mouse there. So teleport back up and leave! We're already done, jeez. Some of these areas go by really quickly just because I've played through them so much. If you stay in the prison long enough, you'll soon become comfortable with your imprisonment here. I'm sure the sheep were fairly comfortable with their imprisonment as well. But I saved them! Because I am a saver. I am the saver goat. The Reapers are relentless. <laughs> They're lonely, but they can be distracted if you work together, which will be done at another point in the game. Now we're going into the Lost City. Which, like every other area, has six rooms. Alright. Here's an interesting new mechanic. Well, not new mechanic, but it's a mechanic that you're going to have to use. You have to destroy these blocks by teleporting, which you, could, you can do. You have been able to do since the beginning, obviously, but uh, it hasn't really come into play until just now, so... I'm doing it now. And also it introduces these weird kind of electrical, electricity looking blocks. Which, uh... They function... They have a kind of a strange function in that they, uh... They don't actually hold the goat up, but they, uh, will... They will hold things like blocks and, uh... As you'll see here... They will actually hold the, uh... Moving... Uh, the wheels, whatever. They'll actually let those roll over these spaces, but as stated, they don't actually oops, they don't actually allow the goat to stand on them. Whoa, okay, that was almost potentially dangerous. Okay, here's an interesting level that may take a few tries if you're on your first uh, playthrough. Okay, now we activate that because that leaves, because as I said before, as you can notice right here, those electric blocks will hold up other, uh, this, I guess they're stone blocks, probably. Whoa, all right. Pretty simple room once you get the hang of it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I remember what I have to do. I think it's actually pretty simple. It's gonna. both of you uh, together, and then move out of the way! And just wait for the level to finish itself, basically. But you should stand out of the way of the explosions, obviously, because you don't want to die. Alright, simple enough. Level 4. This level took me so long to figure out the first time I played through it. Actually, the first couple of times I played through it. But, uh, it's actually not too challenging. Once you figure out what to do. Oops. I messed that up in the first round, but that's okay. I will just wait for it to go through the motions again. Then I fucked it up again. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. Go, 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 quickly, quickly. All right, I made it. Again, I have no idea if that's actually the right way that you're supposed to solve this room, but that's how I solve it. This room can be a gigantic pain in the ass, because it's you have to be really quick about yourself. And you have to know exactly where to stand every time. Ooh, okay, I think I got it. 
just have to wait for that. Alright, go quickly. Okay, got it. <sighs> Normally I die about three or four times in that room alone. It is rather challenging. You we were sent here by the Master of Chains, were you not? I, I actually don't know who the Master of Chains is. Should I know who he is? Because I, I don't. Alright, now I'm sure you noticed right there that this is actually the last area in the game. But because I'm going to play through every level, I'm not going to play through. I'm not going to go through just yet. I'm going to go into the limestone quarry first, which I think is my favorite music in the entire game. Oh, I died there. I don't normally die in this area. Whoa! Ice. Okay. Oh well. No. Magic hat. Useful. All right. Oops. Okay, so this is another level where you just let your mouse do the dirty work. And honestly, you don't really need to activate those two switches to uh, get this key. It just makes things a lot easier. Okay! Alright, here's another long level, if only because it takes a while to get through everything. And, oh wow, I've never actually jumped that far up in... Uh, I didn't actually mean to, but I guess it works anyway, sort of. I've never actually left the mouse up there for this long, so let's see exactly how it works. Okay. Go, mouse! Go! Uh... Good. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I guess I gotta go. I have to let him go down there so I can get through here. I'm gonna have to toss him up there <laughs> so we can hit that switch up there. So can hit that so I can yeah, send him down. <laughs> you see, it can get kind of complicated. Okay, oh, except right, except I gotta go send him back up here. And just jam out to the music. No, go back over there. If there's an easier way to go through the level, I don't know what it is. But I figure that's a consistent enough method that uh, I don't really think I need to change it any, like at all, really. Back there. Go, Mouse! Do all of the work for me! Just hang out. Listen to the music. Wait for all the buzz saws to disappear, or get far enough away, and sneak through. This level is just kind of crazy with all the saw blades and the reapers and all that. Okay, got the magic bat, and I'm safe. At the moment. Now, get the key and leave. Not too difficult. This level can be a pain in the ass, but uh, if you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. Like every other level in this game. Okay. Hurry. Whoa, nope, I think I messed it up. Why not? Whew, just got it. Alright, cool. I didn't actually need to activate the switch again, I just kind of landed on it anyway. And wow, I didn't even realize that I was done with the limestone quarry already. I thought it was going to be more than that. The Master of Change relies on the threat of this prison to preserve his power. That's why we're getting rid of it. So we're going to destroy this prison. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Wow. Can't believe I'm getting through the game this quickly. Okay. Let's go talk to this sheep real quick. When you face the final challenges, think carefully about your goals each step of the way. Alright. Now we're into the last area before the final area, and that is the Engine of Insanity. Which is actually... It can cause insanity sometimes. Because you gotta know... Whoa! Like this right here! You gotta be quick about your quick about your ways. You have to kind of know what you're doing, or otherwise you're gonna get killed by a reaper or a, a saw blade or anything, because this is a very dangerous area. Come on, turn on. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. Except I gotta be careful. Whoa! Don't want to get killed here. Ah! Okay, I thought I was off that conveyor belt, but apparently I wasn't. Okay. Should be okay here. Alright. Wait for that. 
And the fire disappear. Go, go, run quickly! Alright, here's a dangerous tactic which you can use. Woo, I got it! That was a little too close, unfortunately. Alright, uh... Still not 100% sure how to complete this level correctly. Oops. What I sometimes do is just... Uh, sometimes I can squeeze through here. Nope, not this time. Damn it. Alright. There we go. I don't think I'm supposed to actually do that, but that's the only... Oh, I missed it slightly. Oh well. At the time, it better. There we go. That's about the fastest way I think to get through this level. I don't think it's the right way to go through the level, but it's the fastest way I know how to get through. Fortunately. Alright. This level still took me a few tries to figure out how the hell to do things. But I did figure it out eventually. Go, Mouse! Go! Please don't kill me. Oh, wow, that was actually kind of lame right there. I thought I was going to be okay. Apparently not. Alright, we got it. Just have to wait for that. <laughs> he crushed the Reaper. <laughs> That's what you get for killing me last time. Last time? What? Last time. Alright, magic hat right off the bat. There's a reason for that. I'm not going to rhyme anymore. Oops, that was wrong. Alright, there we go. Okie dokie. And now I go here. This is another area where you just kind of have to do everything in a very specific order. Oh, also, one cool thing that you can do, you can kill Reapers by teleporting through them. Like that. It's awesome. I think it's awesome. Because they can be sources of annoyance. There we go. Killed them all. Okay, did I get everything there? Alright, I think I did. Oh, that was actually where I wanted to go. That key? That was actually not what I wanted to do. Hold on. I think what I have to do is hit this button. There we go. Alright, Amber. No, 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 no. I did not hit that button. Switch. Whatever. And there we go. One thing that you should actually uh, be careful not to do is don't teleport while the mouse is in one of those smaller spaces because it will actually crush you to death. I learned that the hard way a few times. I'm not going to do it now because I finished the level. But had I done it at the beginning of the level, I could have seen it. Okay, this level, I messed up already. Uh, I do this level in a way that I'm not probably not supposed to, but uh, it's the easiest way I know how to beat it, so I just kind of whoop. Ugh. Whoa, okay, got that one. Okay, there we go, got that one. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. That's not the right way to beat the level, I know, but it's the easiest way for me to beat the level. By believing society's ills on innocents such as yourself, the master can be free of responsibility. Interesting. And, rather surprisingly, I'm already at the last level. Or the last area. What an insane place. I'm glad that's over with. So am I. So now, we are in the final area. The final path, as it were. And of course, because this is the final path, it's more challenging. And there are ten rooms as, as compared to six in most of the other levels. This one, whoa, I did not even see that guy there. That Reaper. But uh, it's a fairly challenging one. In this stage, you have to not hit any of those buttons, which I know is somewhat counterintuitive, but it's something you have to not do. I think I missed time that slightly. Oh, no, I got it. Whew. All right. Barely got that one in on time. Okay. This level's pretty cool. Oops. Except it's another one where you have to time everything right, or you're going to get crushed. All right. Now, of course, once you've gone through here, you have to, uh... It looks like the timing would be impossible for us, but here's a, here's a, quick, here's a quick trick. You just bring the mouse back. And 
I have all the time in the world to go through that last area. Alright, this level's just kind of weird, but, uh... I still don't fully understand the machinations behind this level, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Alright. There's that. Fairly simple, just wait for the ice block. And once that's done, you're basically done to collect the key and you're done. Oh my god, this level took me so many tries to figure out how to beat it. The first couple of times, the first couple of times, really. It's the first time I was like, okay, it was just kind of a miracle. And then I forgot how to beat it. And then it, t it took me another couple of tries to actually figure out how to beat it again. But now that I, since I played the game yesterday, played through the game yesterday, I guess I could say, um, I remember exactly how to beat it, which is nice. Okay. And it looks kind of simple once you've actually know, once you know how to beat it. Oh, Christ, this level. Ice and saw blades and everything fun with life. Okay. Don't actually have to get that, but I did anyway. Whoa! Uh oh, I might get hit by that saw blade. Okay. Okay, this uh, is probably going to be a rather difficult last final leap in here, except for that one, which doesn't have any... Alright, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Especially because there are two there! Ah! Whoa! Okay! Oh, no! Oh, right at the end. Damn it. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, you go back that way. That looks slightly better. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a lot easier. <laughs> you just have to time everything right. Alright, now this level could take a long time to finish, or not a long time to finish. More than likely, it'll take a while to finish. It's because you have to wait for the mouse to go around these uh, all the time. And can I make it through? The wait, I think I missed something, didn't I? Oh no, I did. No, I did, but not really. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, rat. Mouse. Oh, hey, that... I don't think I've ever gotten through with that one. Oh! Lame! I don't know if I've ever gotten crushed by those blocks before, but I have now. Okay. Come on. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. No big deal. Just have to wait for the rat to go around again. All right. <laughs> now this time I know to jump at that very moment, so I don't get crushed. And now run! Actually, I can just bring the mouse back, because I don't need him to move those blocks anymore. Whoop. Uh, I do like this level actually a lot. This one's really cool, but uh, it's less entertaining now that I know exactly what to do. But I still really like it, overall. Okay. She's got a really cool visual going, you know? Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, well. That was actually a mistake. Shouldn't charge over that one. The walk. Alright. Get the mouse. Get the button. Grab the hat. Jump. There we go. That's what I should have done last time. Alright, and we're good. Whew. This is another really cool level. Uh, you just have to... You actually have to know what you have to do in order to beat it, obviously. Whoa! Okay, didn't mean to do that. I'd avoid the Reaper. Twice. Hang out, wait for him to walk past, and then... Go Ice Block! You need the Ice Block, so you can get that wheel to go here. So you can do this. So you can wait for the Reaper to turn around. Come on, there we go. Okay, and that's done. 
Now we send little Mousy. No, that's a terrible nickname, but whatever. The Reaper to turn around, and then here we go. If you can believe it, we're already at the final level of the game. Because the last level was uh, kind of an outro sort of thing. This is actually, is obviously, because it is the last level, this is also the most challenging level in the game. Uh, it requires a lot of really good timing and a good, some good dodging skills and all that stuff. Also, you have to know what you're doing. Yes, I'm waiting here for a very specific reason. Because I have to wait for that guy to turn around. Because that platform disappears. <laughs> after a very short amount of time. Whoa! Okay, I thought I was dead there. Alright, now I'm going to do... Leave the bat there. Oh, right at the frickin' end, too! Ah. I'm disappointed in myself. Usually once I get that far in the level, it's like, it's, you know, it's, uh, elementary. Alright, I'm gonna hang out, wait for that guy to turn around again. Right, whoa, don't want to run into him again. Or at all, for the first time. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have actually survived that. I also should have actually let him shoot off a fireball. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Woo! Whew, all right, well. Now we get to talk to our sheep friends one last time. You've done it. We thank you for rescuing us. We would each like to thank you personally on your way out, which I will let them do. You'll never be forgotten. We sheep will sing songs and tell tales of your adventure for generations. Yeah. You've broken the Master's spell. We don't know what will happen now, but we are finally free. Let's go talk to the other ones down here at the bottom first. I know you had a very difficult time rescuing me. You're a true friend. Aw, oh, shucks. I must have been dreaming for a very long time. I've completely forgotten what the outside world is like. God, that sounds like something I would say. Here, take this canoe. It will be useful on your journey. Just kidding. There's no canoe. Ha 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 ha. I'll talk to him later. Oh, well. Let's see what the rat has to mouse. Says, well, my friend, it looks like we've beaten the prince, and after all, I never had any doubts. So where do you next? I'm coming with you. We may or may not... Wait. We may or may not meet again after the prison crumbles. What do you suppose will become of the Reapers when this place disappears? I don't know. Whoa. Where you go? Okay. Oh, well, I guess I don't actually need to read that one again, but whatever. In my dream, I kept reliving the same day endlessly. Thanks to you, the nightmare is over and I can move on in life. You're welcome. And so ends his scapegoat. Design, programming, graphics, and sound, Ian Stalker. He's the guy who made the awesome soundtrack, did everything. And you can probably hear the uh, groundskeeping in the background, <laughs> I'm guessing. Maybe or maybe not, I don't know. It's pretty loud. But, uh... This was definitely one of my favorite games of 2011. Now I have to yell so I can talk over the <laughs> fucking va the vacuum glitter. Yes. The edging and the, the lawn mowing. That's the word. Lawn mowers. Uh, but this is definitely one of my favorite games for uh, from 2011. Not just one of my favorite indie games or one of my favorite Xbox Live games, but one of my favorite games overall for 2011. And at $3 of a price tag, or 240 Microsoft points, if you don't live in America, um, I think it's a damn good deal. I think it is especially a damn good deal, because, you know, when you get crap like Modern Warfare 3, or whatever, you know, it costs $60, it costs $60, this costs 5% of that, and I think it's more entertaining. So, there you go, there are my last stats. Total time, 42 minutes, 21 seconds, not bad, I guess. Last time I played, which was yesterday, I played, it was, took over an hour to beat. Completed 64 out of 64 rooms and died 20 times, which is actually kind of sad. Uh, I should be dying less, considering how many times I've beaten the game. And there's your secret hint, which you will have to explore for yourself, because I'm not going to show you what it is, because I think you should buy this game for $3 and support guys like Ian Stalker, Magical Time Bean. Great game, fantastic game. Uh, so, this has been scapegoat this has been legitimate business aka sam aka the guy who's been uploading all these fantastic let's play videos <laughs> feel free to subscribe or comment or do whatever the hell you want and uh i will see you tomorrow with another one of my favorite games whether it be on xbox live flash i don't know what 
but it'll be here. So uh, see you next time. Hey everybody, this is Legitimate Business, also known as the guy who got crapped on during the Kirby's Dreamland video, Kirby's Return to Dreamland video. I'm here by myself today because I can't get everyone together uh, at the same time, unfortunately. So, um, until I can get everyone together to finish Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I'm going to be playing some through some of my favorite games. Uh, today we're playing through Escape Goat, an Xbox Live Arcade indie game uh, that was released last year. Uh, in it, you are a goat, you are imprisoned for the crime of witchcraft, and I have to dwell in this prison with others for all eternity. This is the prison of Agnes. This is where most of the game takes place. So, um, this is one of my favorite games, specifically because uh, I love the style, I love the uh, the puzzle platform genre in general. Uh, so it's it's a nice, it's like a, it's a light, mind-bending thing. And also, uh, if I would shut up for a second, you all could hear the amazing soundtrack that was all written by uh, the same guy who made this game, Mr. Ian Stocker, who uh, I decided to support by not only buying this game, but by buying the soundtrack, which I bought a couple of days ago, even though he has it basically up for free on his Bandcamp website, which I think you should all check out anyway. Um, but it's really... It's such a such an awesome soundtrack uh, to each the position where the other one was basically, and also this also introduces the uh, falling platforms, uh, which are made of bone, as far as I can tell. And already we have finished the first area, Prison of Agnes, and we've saved our first sheep. Sheep says I've been expecting you, but there is no time to explain now. You must reach all eight of my brethren, which is what I'm going to do. So now we're at the gathering place. This is where you come every time you finish a, a section of the game. This is the first sheep I just rescued. This is Welcome Friend, if you get stuck, you can return here to try another region, find seven of us to open the exit door, and if your elementary counting skills are up to snuff, you'll notice that there are eight rooms. So if you only want to play through part of the game, you only have to beat six of these areas in order to actually get access to the final area to beat the game. But I'm going to go through all eight. And next up is going to be the Frozen Cavern, which, as it would imply, has ice and ice physics, which uh, can sometimes be annoying. But I can forgive it because of the awesome music! Now here's another little mechanic that you can do. You can throw the mouse companion up to platforms by hitting up and B. And actually, I need to recall him, because there's no other way to get to, uh, to unlock every passageway without bringing them back. Alright, let's see. What are we doing here? Alright, so you got to use the mouse to go up there. Except he didn't for some reason. Is there ice? Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, so I got rid of him so I can turn this on. It's one of my favorite soundtracks of the year. Uh, or of all time, really. So, uh, this is the first really important thing that you can get, and this is your mouse companion, which will keep for the rest of the game, he can do things like squeeze through little passages that you can't, and you can press on, you can press other other buttons like those that you cannot reach. Also, like I said before, he can squeeze through these passages, which you can't get through. And then he opens it up, and you can bring him back by pressing the B button. Uh, these buttons, obviously they need to have some weight on them to be activated, so you can just leave your mouse there. Uh, and he basically falls asleep instantly, which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, this room introduces a couple of new uh, concepts, although I've been doing one already for a few minutes. That's the, uh, the charge attack, which you do by hitting the right trigger. And uh, not only does it destroy blocks, but it gives you a slight speed boost, which is kind of cool for anyone who's thinking about speedrunning the game, which admittedly I kind of am, except for the fact that I still kind of suck at the game, even though I love it this much. Um, so let's see, we let the rat, oops, accidentally crush the rat, but it's okay because he just comes back anyway. 
Uh, now we have keys, which have been introduced, which uh, in some levels you will need to collect in order to open the door, in order to get out of the level. Fairly simple concept. Keys, I know. Alright. And there's another thing you can do. You can always toss your, you can toss your mouse companion out while you're still jumping. And I've collected the magic hat, which up until yesterday I thought said magic bat. What you do with the magic hat is that when you have the mouse out, you can hit the X button, and then you you and the mouse teleport. Uh, <laughs> we rescued our second sheep. If anyone were to escape the prison, it would immediately crumble to dust. Cool. I'll have to do that. Alright, and I'm sort of going in order, and if you notice, every time you beat one level, you unlock two more. But I'm going to go ahead and unlock, beat the second one that I unlock, which is the Ruins of Red Clay. Which, the first time I played through it, was actually quite a challenging area, admittedly. Okay, bring the rat back, mouse back, I guess. Now, this introduces the new uh, blah, blah, mechanic, or new enemy, called the Reaper. Which are those guys on the left. They uh, shoot fireballs. And, uh... You have to watch out for that, because if they hit you, you die instantly. And this is... I don't know if this is a kind of a skip of the level or not, but, uh... I'm definitely getting through the level a bit more quickly than I used to. <laughs> now, one of the cool things about this game is that you can, in fact, kill these Reapers by crushing them. Like that. Like I just did. Now I have to time it right, because these Reapers can be bastards at times. Alright. That was good moment, I think. Okay. It's probably best not to actually run into the Reapers either, just because, you know, they I believe they can kill you by with uh, just a touch. So I would recommend not running into them. Unfortunately, you can't ram them and kill them either, which is kind of lame, but, you know, I've accepted that. No, no, mouse, go the other way. There we go. I really hope that, oh crap, he's going to shoot at me. Okay, i got to wait for that Reaper to turn around again. <laughs> Alright, as soon as you turn it on. Admittedly, the puzzles aren't too challenging, especially once you play through the game a couple of times. Like, I have I've probably beaten the game like four or five times at this point. But it's still fun because some of the puzzles are still a little challenging. Uh, Alright, I have to wait for that. The puzzles are still a bit challenging sometimes. Uh, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, I did. Because sometimes you still have to think about them, and sometimes they're kind of timing based, which are slightly annoying, but not really, really annoying. Uh, oops, don't need to do that. But uh, here, I'm going to show you a couple of funny things that you can do uh, with this. Uh, I, I was, I'm not going to try for a deathless run because that's ridiculous. But if you accidentally jump, then you get crushed to death. So that happens in a couple other spots in this level. So you have to be really careful not to hit any of those buttons, or you're going to die. All right, I don't care about these tips. But that's another, that is an important thing to know. If you do get stuck, if you mess up on the level, you just hit the back button on the, key, on the keyboard, yeah, on the uh, controller, and it'll just take you back to the beginning of the level. It's basically like a suicide button. Not real life suicide. Alright. This level introduces ice blocks, but I've already finished the level, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> I could go a bit more slowly, but I'm used to playing at about this speed anyway. Here's a little trick that you can use to uh, possibly save some time if you're attempting to speed run the game, or maybe not. I don't really know. Okay, we got the magic bat. Now we run through here, and now we're done with that level. And we're done with the frozen caverns already. Wow, jeez. Where am I? There I am. 